hey guys, hurry up and clean up down there so we can go. <laughs> kind of nice to get away from them for a while. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Put them to work while we were sitting back we'll watching it. Right not. I know y'all had a lot of experience in working with the people you worked with on Carolina Camera. Uh, CJ and I had quite a few experiences. Every time we went out together, it was an experience. <laughs> <laughs> CJ was bad about stumbling and falling in holes or ditches or something. Well, Ballard would always find these places for, for us to go, but he would never tell me what, you know, what the setup was going to be. For instance, we carried uh, all of our equipment up to the top of a mountain the other side of West Jefferson. And we got up there to, to shoot this old character in his cabin. And we, we carried that equipment for almost a mile. And we got up there, the guy had no electricity in his cabin, you know, so. We kind, of hard, to, kind of hard to use. It was kind of hard to do, it was kind of hard to do. <laughs> Make yeah. an outside story out of it. <laughs> I, I think it's a shame the viewers never saw the things that went wrong. Yeah. I remember this little train a man had in his backyard. It worked for about five minutes and then it didn't work. So we had CJ pushing the train, but you didn't see that. You just saw the front of the train going down the track. <laughs> Worked great. Are you kidding? Sure. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have to push any trains. But lately, you know, I've been working with uh, Ken Udy. Kind of hard sometimes to get him involved in a story. And one I just recently did, you didn't see it on the air, but uh, we got him up on a sail, a parachute behind the boat. It's a parasail. But doing that story, I had to pass off a camera to over the water. Uh, that's not the first time I've done that. But, I had to get it over the water, and precariously, we passed it off from a moving boat to me up on this parachute. It was amazing. <laughs> Sometimes these guys let you do a, a little photo story, you know, it's something yeah. you're really interested yeah. in, you know? Yeah. I got to do one not too long ago. It was about, oh, this past spring. That was a great story. Yeah, it really was. It was about a, an old fellow that lived right in Charlotte, uh, a fellow named William Badger Pride. Miss Allen, uh, she first started me selling flowers. I sold them then for three bunches for a quarter. Mm. Well, me and her both getting too old. And the young folks has got jobs, they don't fool with them. I like to pick them. Myself. I just like to do this for the work. Uh, I, I pick flowers all day long, but you feel it pretty good when you're getting older. I can't, I can't pick as many now as I used to. So I'm getting too old, huh? Took me all day to pick those things. Some of them a little larger and some a little smaller. You look at the stem of them till that. But one thing they won't bear no more this year. Ain't many folks a, a, a pick, pick these things. They said it wouldn't, they're too hard to hard on the back. I, <laughs> I know. Anything, get anything out of you. Got to, you got to work for it. And you, you sure ain't gonna come and get, come to you. Well, I like to sell them. <laughs> Biggest thing I like to sell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Selling up flowers? Yes, I read. How much they cost? Dollar bunch? You don't know, look at them. Well, I've been really selling them around 50 years, if not more. <laughs> That's been a good while, ain't it? <laughs> uh, so, and I'm still at it. Good morning. Good morning. You feeling good this morning? I do now that I'm going to get some flowers. Oh, well, they may do. They'll, they'll wake you up. Huh? Some of those. Why? Give me the white. You don't have any of those purple ones, do you? 
Bible? Oh, no, no. Uh, has. has. No, man. You think these is now? Yeah, better be new. I love bunch. Uh, yeah, they, um, they, they get the money for <laughs> But, you're hard to pick, make my fingers so every time I start to pick and fly. Uh, some of the yellow, predominantly some, yellow. Oh, you want the solid? One, one yellow and one white. One yellow and one white? Yeah. Well, I sure get that for you. Thank you. Well, thank you too and come back. Have a good day. You saying? Sell them bad ones as well as the good ones now. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have a feeling that those fellows have been talking about us. You know? <laughs> well, we can we can tell a few things about them and fortunately Dave Clanton, the fifth photographer to work on Carolina Camera, has been off shooting a commercial in Florida. If he was here, I'm sure he'd tell some stories about yeah. you guys. <laughs> We can tell a few things about them. You know, uh, they really are the unsung heroes, probably, of Carolina Camera. The viewers really don't get to see them. No doubt. But uh, they will go anywhere for a shot. I mean, for all of us, they've climbed trees and mountains. They've gone underwater in stunt planes upside down. Just Brad Stafford back there is probably as good, a, good an example as anyone. One time we were down in uh, Greenville, North Carolina, where the Voice of America has a whole field full of 100, 200 foot antennas where they broadcast all around the world. Brad went up in the antenna field, maybe 100, 150 feet up a tower. Wind was blowing, he was in a little bucket, like a motorized little elevator, and got stuck. <laughs> we never, never thought he'd get down. Then Brad, too, was the fellow who flew in one of those Air Force jets and, uh, and uh, got airsick doing it, but got some amazing footage. 